This is August 1978, and Dick and Risa drove out to Wyoming for her summer job as a wrangler. Now we're going out on our trailer to follow her home, because it's at the end of the season. The wranglers were waiting for us because we're going to stay at Signal Mountain Campground, and they know they don't have electricity there, and they want our TV. They invited us for supper, so it made it all right. This is where Risa stayed. The girl wranglers and cook. It was Tammy then bunked in the building, and the boys had more like what you call tent bunk. This is Joyce and Cornell's trailer. It's Teresa coming back from the outhouse. That's what they had. That's Cornell Rudd. It's Clay Jones. Kent Ritchie. Both of them are from Utah. And that was Dave from South Dakota. That was Todd, and he was from Idaho, I believe. And there was a John Joyce, he was from Michigan. We didn't goof off too much around Cornell. This is Risa coming back from taking people on a trail ride. She's had a great summer. The sun's bleached her hair almost blonde. These kids love this place. It's almost like a Shangri-La. No luxuries and no big paychecks, but they always want to come back. Great memories, but they're all gone now. Red's last summer there was in 1993. The environmentalists didn't want the horses in the park.
while we were here this summer, a great big tall cowboy came around and said someone there wanted to see him and it was this Dick Clark that had been such so good to the kids when they were little. This is the inside of their living quarters, I guess you'd call it, and the kitchen's right with them. That one fellow was, they called him Ozzy because he was from Australia. Beautiful sunsets out here. This is saddle up time in the morning. Dick and I would take our coffee and sit at the picnic table and watch them. That's John Joyce. This is playtime. This is after they put in their day work. This is Tammy, she was a cook and is still one of Reese's best friends. The one on the left is Scott Jones. This is Lil Run, the boss man, and that's the office that he always sat in. A few 
years after this is where he had a massive heart attack and died, and I'm sure it was doing exactly and where he wanted it to happen. I think that's Sue Racer. And this is Dick and Joyce. Everyone loved Joyce. surgery so at that time you couldn't ride astride a horse after surgery but so he rode side saddle probably could ride that way better than most the other way this is rick and karen and reese and clay are going to take a ride out to antelope flats Sandra. That's Darren Joyce and Canoel's son.